Does that uh, cover also act as a, de a deflector? Yeah, it also acts as a deflector. Okay, because normally the SKS shoots straight up, you know, or... And what's nice about it, the deflector takes a lot of energy out, so it kind of just drops, like, right next to it. Oh, so yeah, it SKS will out. throw 50 feet, you know? Yeah. That is cool. Let's see how she shoots. She's shooting at uh, just 25 yards, right? Very nice. Yeah. If you look at the target, it's a little bit like off, but that's that's all because uh, I can see like the point of aim kind of going off. Is it is it on recording? Yeah, it's recording right now. Wow, this thing is heavy. It's on safe. You know it's too light. The safe is off. Safe is. Now it's battle. Is that? Now it's on safe. So oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Like a double stage trigger. I'm used to your optics here. Oh. Okay, here we go. My 22's kind of... kind of long pull. Yeah. You know, I'll shoot in a different area, just in the... Okay. Back near the bottom. Did you get it? No, I didn't. No, I put the dot above, but... No, you want... If you go uh, one dot down below the X. Hold it. Hold it. So go, so go shoot it. Come on. Dang, go. I thought you said... Sorry. It's, the idea is that you put your sights. You, as, you, as you move uh, dots uh -oh. down... Oh. Uh, did it... I don't think it broke. It just... Oh, it slides into there. Okay. Oh, I'll probably have to JV weld it or something. You never Sorry. have that before? Huh? No, I ne it's never done that before. Oh, what's this? It's a release for it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I feel terrible. Well, this this company is pretty new, so I I kind of expected some problems I would have to do it, but I I can work around it, so I'll just fix that up. Yeah. It's kind of rough, roughing it up a little bit. Yeah. It seems like there's a little bit of oil on it, too, so I'll have that, to do it. That might have it. Uh, loosened it up. Yeah. This is a SG Works uh, bullpup stock for the SK, SKS. Um, they just, they actually were working on this for like about two or three years, and just a while ago I got it. Um, it's about 200 or $120. Um, it works for any SKS, whether it be uh, Chinese uh, paratrooper version or uh, uh, Russian Yugoslavian. Um, it's top fed if you want for stripper clip, you just hit that flap and you feed it to the top. It can accept uh, detachable magazines up to 20 rounds if you want, like the Tapco. Uh, you just have to take off the fixed uh, 10 round magazine. It features a full flat top rail. Um, the problem is the rail's uh, directly in line with your cheek weld, so you might have to get one of the uh, higher uh, sights like what I did. Oh, okay. Uh, High rings and then also a riser on top of that. It was, it was, didn't um, me, yeah. You can't use your bayonet if you uh, have this because there's no slot for that. Yep. SQ Works does sell, however, uh, some kits like, for example, they're coming out with a tri rail for this, so you can put bipods or hand grips. Uh, right here, I haven't put this on, but my uh, stock came was a detachable uh, magazine release, so you'll have to pull backwards, which is kind of awkward. Mm. This assembly for cleaning is really easy. All you have to do is pull this little pin out, uh, pull it out from the back, which uh, 
There's like this little pin you just pull out. Oh, okay. And then this whole top part comes off and you have access to your dust cover. So uh, it won't affect like your zero or anything. Right, right. You don't have access to the gas tube, however, would you? So like probably every year or so you would have to take this off and clean out the gas tube with a dirty caliber. Uh, yeah. Those get nasty though, yeah. if you're shooting corrosive. Yeah. Anything corrosive, those things will, are the first thing to rust up. Yeah. Single hook. Yeah, the double hook is for it. Uh, also features a safety too, similar to, well, I guess not similar to AR, but it's uh, pretty easy to use. You just press it down, oh, okay. and then on the other side, you just tap it back up. Oh, nice. Kind of like the uh, AEG. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that. Is it, is it pretty comfortable to shoot long range, or is it, is it more comfortable to shoot close range? Is that, I mean, does that make any sense? Uh, it's. It's capable of shooting long range, but offhand, it's re you really have to steady your hand because there's not much weight here to right. slow it down. Right. It's like that P90 yeah, where it's yeah. real squatty and short. Yeah. So, uh, I guess the shooting stick would work really well with this considering how wide it is in the front. Um, and bipods too. Okay.